So we have a young woman here who, like Bozema, wants to not only thrive in the business world, but also help other women of color do the same, which is incredible. She doesn't know that you're here. So um, can can we surprise her? Oh, can you yeah. hide? Can we hide you? It's okay. kind of hard to it's hide. Gonna hi it's <laughs> hard to hide a six hide, foot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll, we'll do it. And, and maybe offer her some guidance. Because yes. you're just an incredible, powerful woman. And I think this is she's going to freak out. So. Oh, yeah. great. Yeah. I'd be happy I'm freaking to. out. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to read this book. <laughs> we are back hanging out with Jane Lynch, y'all. Give it up. Woo! So our next guest is a college freshman at UC Berkeley um, on her way to big things in business, y'all. But what makes her extraordinary is how she's helping other young women of color break barriers in the corporate world right alongside her. Everybody, welcome Rachel. Woo! Rachel. Meet Jane. Oh, wonderful. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. UC Berkeley. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> impressed. I know. <laughs> I, you're very impressed. We were talking about in the commercial break. Like, I was not doing cool stuff like you at 19. <laughs> I was like, what? You're changing the world. Yeah. So where does your passion for the business world come from, and where do you want to take it? Where do you want to end up? Yeah, so I was always that kid that was taking charge in group projects. So I always had a passion for leadership. Yeah. Um, and I was always drawn to the idea of having my own small business. That's and then cool. I really developed my passion for business in high school when I started taking business classes and competing in business plan competitions through the business program at my school. There's business plan competitions? <laughs> yeah. Wow. What does that <laughs> consist of? And I was... You're so smart. <laughs> like, what? I was not doing that in high school. I was just trying to pass. <laughs> I was like, wow. So explain what black girls mean business. Uh, what, is it, what does it mean and why did you start it? Yeah, so actually one of those ideas from the business plan competitions, yeah. I took that and built off of it and created Black Girls Mean Business my sophomore year of high school. Um, I... Even though I grew up in a very diverse neighborhood, I did realize that there was a lack of representation of black women in executive business positions. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the lack of black women as Fortune 500 CEOs was something that really stood out to me as a black woman trying to pursue my own career in business. So yeah. I wanted to do something about that. I wanted to be the change. So I created Black Girls Mean Business to create a safe space for black girls to empower them on their business journey and to bridge that gap and provide that equity, so. I love that you see that at such a young age. Like, and you can clap, don't tell you yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't hold back. Yeah, that's something to clap for. Um, I love that you saw that at such a young age though, not just for yourself, but to bring everyone with you. Like you have an idea and you wanna be a champion for change, but you get that that is a network like, right? That's yeah, a network of, of people. Yeah. That's like very mature thinking. For, I'm just saying. It's emotional <laughs> maturity too. I know. And to include others in it and be generous in that way because sometimes we have to grow into our generosity. Because but sometimes it's people are too insecure you. to do that. Yeah, it's exactly. a very confident yeah. play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so explain what happens in your workshops. What, what happens in them, like in your workshops? Yeah, so my workshops are all on Zoom, so they're very accessible to the girls. Uh, and we have guest speakers come and speak on topics ranging from entrepreneurship to job applications to college readiness. Yeah. And, and then we have their mentors. They're matched with a business professional as a mentor to guide them in this journey. Um, and they have an opportunity to chat with their mentors and get guidance during the workshops as well. That's wow. so cool. So you designed this. Yes, I built it. From yeah, the ground. yes, you did. <laughs> and, and you enlisted others to join you in this. Yes, I and, did. Yeah, I would like for you to do this and you to do that. And of course, they look at your face and go, I'll do anything you want. <laughs> Yeah, I have a team of youth volunteers that help me and then also the wonderful mentors and my family have been great guidance and support in this journey. Good. Yeah, you need that support. You yeah, do. absolutely. You do. Um, well, Rachel's career trajectory sounds a lot like someone else's that I know. Mm -hmm. uh, she's truly a boss lady, a badass, who's helped shape the image of companies including Apple Music, iTunes, Uber, and Netflix, all while helping lift up fellow women of color. Um, and she's eager to meet Rachel everybody so we call her a whole lot of women that's what we call her say hello to Bozema St. John everybody come on this is Bozema oh, look at that look how colorful you both are right here we're gonna sit down please thank you Jane I mean 
Okay. <laughs> is it not crazy? Like 19 I mean, years old? Like seriously, this is amazing. I was not doing that at 19. So <laughs> You're gonna have a whole lot of women in you too. Yeah, <laughs> I know it's incredible to see. Yeah. So, Bozeman, you've heard a lot about Rachel's aspirations. So, do you have any advice for her? You've oh, done gosh. everything, I feel like. Yes, well, obviously, I do have advice and thoughts <laughs> and all of that. I mean, you're so smart, you're doing incredibly well. So, all I will add to it is the fact that, you know, sometimes it can feel so lonely you know, in the process. It can feel like you're trying to get somewhere, maybe you're making some strides, but sometimes there are some steps back as well. Sis, keep going. Yeah. You are going in the right direction. We are all cheering for you. <laughs> we want yeah. you to win. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, imagine what you're capable of and you're already ahead of the game. Uh, Bozeman, your daughter is a little younger than Rachel, but I love how you're preparing her yes. for, for the business world and just life in general. Can, can you explain like how you do that? Yes, well, I want to be like you? Rachel. <laughs> That's the first thing. Um, you know, she, she has to present for everything. Like, I'm talking about when it's, you know, Christmas time for her presents. We need a presentation. I need to understand, you know, why it is that you want the things that you want on your list. Uh, for her birthday, we, you know, we don't do birthday parties and presents. We do trips. But she has to That's present smart. where she wants to go and why she wants to go there. And it really can be anywhere. She just has to have a great presentation and convince me. That that's where we need to go. Wow, yeah. love it. She could be a yeah. lawyer. Yeah, oh, yeah. Any, like, anything, anything. Yeah, I was anything. like, wow, yeah. she's yeah. persuasive. Yes. I like it. Well, you had something that you wanted to tell Rachel, right? Yes, I'm so excited because I work on a board uh, for an organization called Vital Voices. They are an organization started by Hillary Clinton when she was first lady. Uh, the whole idea of the organization is to uplift women's voices around the world. And they have built the first embassy for women in Washington, D.C. Wow. It's on Embassy Row. And um, this May, it will be the one year anniversary since they opened the embassy. I will be there uh, celebrating, talking about my book, and all kinds of other things with a whole lot of boss women. So I would love for you to be my guest and come with me to the event. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Oh my God. So you can meet all of these other amazing women. And we'll spend some time also, you and I, one-on-one. -on -one. We'll talk about your goals, and then we can give you some real advice also. You know what I mean? Some tactical things on how to knock this all down. Wow, thank yes, you so much. You. That means a lot. I'm very, very proud. Oh, my gosh.